Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to HobbyParts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new IMRS charger by Gen Zace. It comes in a very sleek looking box, so we're going to open it up and take a look at what it's all about. Alright guys, so we have the box open and these are the parts and accessories you're greeted with. First thing I like to do is pull out the manual and read through it. Here is the manual. It's very clearly written, very easy to understand. Uh, I like to read through it, get myself familiar with all the functions and what everything does. One thing I noticed is that this charger can measure a LiPo battery's internal resistance, which is a really cool feature on this charger. None of our other chargers do that, I believe. Uh, this one does do that. Um, and again, like I said, it's very easy to understand cycling the battery, cycle modes, how to charge and discharge, what amps to charge at, um, data monitoring system, all that stuff. And one really cool thing I like on page 29 is the, uh, the menu flow chart. Uh, sometimes you get lost in the menus, don't know where it's going. This chart is a very good reference um, to better understand the charger uh, when you're getting to use it. So that's the manual. Very nicely written. I like how they did that. Uh, a couple of other things. You have the alligator clips to power up the charger. It'll take a 12 to 50 volt um, DC power. You have your banana clips. These are great for any of our batteries, whether it be Sky LiPo, Gen Zace, or Blue LiPo. They all use banana plugs. So if you do buy a battery from us, you can charge it with this charger. No need to solder any other connectors. And for those, for those of you that do wish to use other connectors, they do put, provide another connector for you to solder any type of uh, connector on there, whether it be a Dean's, Tamiya, or any other type, Traxxas connector, you can solder that on there. Uh, what I have here is the balance board. This balance board is awesome. Why? Because it has two different types of charging ports. Um, have up here the normal JST XH type of adapter. And down here it says TP pack. That's perfect for any type of thunder power type of uh, balance connector on those LiPo batteries. Um, I really like how they included the two different type of connectors on this one. So let's look at the charger itself. Again, as I mentioned before, it's very sleek looking, very thin profile, um, very nice looking screen. Um, it is a metal case to keep it cool. Uh, let's look at some of the ports on this. We have, again, that 12 to 15 volt DC port. I do want to mention it, that it does not come with an AC adapter, but no worries, we do sell that AC adapter on hobbyparts.com. Also has a thermal sensor here. Basically, you can plug up a thermal sensor and monitor the temperature's battery, have it cut off if it's getting too hot for safety features. Um, over here, you have Update Charge Mobile. That's basically a USB port, so if Gen Zace comes out with new software or uh, updated software, you can update your charger's um, firmware. Over on the other side, you have that balance port where that balancer goes that I showed you guys earlier, and you have your output ports for... Um, the banana plug or whichever plugs you choose. Another cool thing right here which looks like a stylus uh, holder is basically like a little kickstand. Pull that out, turn it around, stick it on the back and basically you can elevate it from the surface, whichever surface it's sitting on so that it'll stay cool. That's a very cool feature I like and I like how it stores in the charger. Very easy to use. So let's go ahead and plug this charger up and give you guys a better feel of the charger and what it looks like. All right, so I have my Hobby Parts AC adapter. I'm gonna plug it up. And you're greeted with a beautiful green backlit screen and it says Gen's Ace Charger version 1.9. And what you're looking at now is the home screen. Uh, the first one here, that's M01. Basically that stands for Memory 01. Uh, basically you can save 12 different profiles. For example, if you're charging lithium polymer, um, nickel metal hydrides, lead acids, you can save that into different profiles so that every time you switch batteries you don't have to go back and change a bunch of settings. That's a cool feature I really like. The next menu is uh, LiPo. As you can see LiPo is flashing and I can change it to nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydrate, lead acid, lithium phosphate back to LiPo. You can change the number of cells here, one cell, two cell, three cell, and you can change the capac capacity here if you notice, every time I change the capacity, the amp is also coinciding with it. It's changing as well. Basically, whatever I change it to, it's going to automatically adjust to a 1C charge rate. Now, you can go to a higher charge rate uh, if you want to. 
but I do want to mention that this comes with a 100 watt internal power supply. So for those of you looking to charge a 60 battery, 6,000 milliamp, 40C, and you want to charge it at like, you know, 3C, it's probably not going to handle that. But for the smaller batteries, you can charge them at a higher C rating. Um, you're only limited to that 100 watt power supply. Um, do you want to mention from experience that if the charger does get hot, especially in the hot summer sun, uh, it's going to start dropping your amp charge rate. It's going to start dropping the amps to keep the charger cool. Um, this charger has the ability to monitor its own temperature. I, I think it was at like 110, 120, then it's going to start um, dropping the amps and keep itself cool. So it's a safety feature built in here so it doesn't kill itself or you know self-destruct, something like that. Um, let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how to charge a battery and show you that nifty, nifty feature of uh, internal resistant measuring. So I'm going to go ahead and plug up that balance board. Got my output wires right here that I'm going to plug up. There you go, balance board's in. Output wires, red and black. I have a Gen Zace battery back here. It's a three cell, 2200 milliamp hour. I'm going to go ahead and plug that one up. Plug that up to the balance board. All right, back to the charger. Uh, let's see, model one, LiPo, three cell. I'm going to go to 2200 milliamp and I'm going to charge it at 2.2 amps. Basically, all I do is hold this button and it's starting to charge. One menu I really like to look at, it's one of these data menus, is the data menu where it tells you the voltage of each individual cell. I like watching that just so I know it's balancing my battery nice, nice and good and uh, it'll beep at me once it's done charging. It's got a lot of other features. It tells you the internal temperature of the PCB board, input voltage, um, safety temperature. Battery temperature is at three degrees Celsius. You can change that to Fahrenheit. But the reason that's not fluctuating is because I don't have the thermo sensor hooked up. And again, we sell that thermo sensor on hobbyparts.com. If you do want to measure your battery's temperature and you can set, off, set a cutoff temperature so if it gets too high, um, you can cut off, cut, it'll sh automatically shut off. Uh, what are we doing? Let's go look at the internal resistance uh, of this battery. So I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to go to... All right, let's go to data view. I'm going to go to data view and I'm going to go down to battery internal resistance. It's showing zero right now. Basically, all I do is hit the enter button and it's telling me seven ohms. So the lower the internal resistance, the better. Um, it's good to have this function to measure the internal resistance of the different batteries you're using. Uh, that's pretty much a quick run through over the menus of this charger. Lots of functions on this charger uh, that we didn't show you today, but for you to find out. If you're in the market for a sleek and compact charger, you can bring anywhere and a very capable charger. Definitely give these a try. They're very sleek looking, nice looking, and it should perform awesome as well. So thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned on hobbyparts.com for more awesome videos. See you guys later.